The eviction moratorium is extended in California. What that means for tenants and landlords. I'm Chris Payne at Keller Williams Realty. We're going to talk about that coming up. Thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. I'm Chris Bain at Geller Williams Realty, where I make these videos to help you make sense of the real estate market and everything going on. If you would do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. Also click that little bell so you can be notified every time we drop fresh new content. And if you would give me a thumbs up on this video after you've watched it, well, you could do it now if you wanted to, but after you watch it would be fine too. I sure would appreciate it because it would help me a lot with my self-esteem. So the eviction moratorium has been extended here in California. I wanted to make this video so that way tenants and landlords knew exactly what it means. Now, this is coming from a press release that was issued from the state of California and the governor's office. So let's break it down. So the original moratorium was expected to expire at the end of February, which left landlords the option to start sending eviction notices and filing evictions in the court. That's now been extended till the end of June. So the governor signed SB 91, which the state is calling the strongest eviction moratorium in the entire nation. We're going to talk about the pros and cons. So this is what you need to know. First of all, you need to know that with this signing comes a $2.6 billion federal stimulus funding for small property owners and tenants. Now, tenants, you must sign under penalty and perjury that you are unable to pay rent in all or part due to a COVID related reason. You can't just stop paying your rent for no reason at all. You must sign a document that says that you have been affected by the pandemic in some way, which is why you're not paying your rent. Now, tenants, this is important because according to the press release, it says you are still responsible for paying unpaid amounts, but those amounts cannot be the basis of eviction. The $2.6 billion will be used for rental assistance for tenants most at risk. So that goes back to signing that document under penalty and perjury, and that will help you with your unpaid back rent. Now, of that $2.6 billion, landlords, you are part of that too, because the assistance is extended to property owners who agree to waive 20% of the unpaid rent. So of that rent, if you agree to waive 20% of that, then you will qualify by agreeing to the waiver. Landlords will become eligible for 80% in rent reimbursements for amounts owed between April 1st, 2020 and March 31st, 2021. This is important because renters cannot be kicked out for COVID related issues and landlords, you are going to be getting some reimbursement. This could have affected about a million renters around the state. About a million would have been evicted at the end of the month. So this is actually a really good thing. But my criticism of the governor's office was that he was not offering enough to the landlords. And now the landlords were still in jeopardy at this point of losing their properties. If you are a tenant and have any questions on the new legislation or a landlord and have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. 619-818-2992. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.